Father, we just want to say thank you. We give you all the glory this morning. We honor you, we adore you. You are worthy of our praise for who you are. You came to this world to die for us. And the third day you have restored And you ask us to do it in remembrance of you. We are here before you, Lord Jesus. Everything that has become dead in our life that's supposed to work perfectly, bring them back to life. Through your word, my Father, I pray, our businesses, our work, our job, our marriage that become dead, our brain, every part of our body that have become dead, through the powers of restoration, bring them back to life. Our ministry, our calling that have been dead, Father, we ask through the powers of restoration, bring them back to life. Lord, through your word this afternoon, touch every soul. My Father, I pray, reconcile us back to our Father in heaven. Let this week be the week of grace and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Please let's stand on our feet. Choir, can you help me? We are not going to waste our time. We know that um, our youth we have preached the message for us, but I will just touch some area within 20, 25 minutes then we share the grace. You are worthy to be praised. Lord Jesus, we love you. We know that you love us. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Accept our worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Put your hands together and be seated in the presence of God. We know that it's risen 2,000 years ago. But the title of my message this afternoon is Our Salvation is in Christ Jesus. Say, my salvation is in Christ Jesus. Mark 2, 28. I will just read, we will just read for you. Then John 20, 11. Then we will read the text of today. Matthew 28, verse 1 to 8. Now after the Sabbath, as the, as, as the first day of the week began to down, Mary Magdalene and the other, Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. And the guide shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the woman, to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he is risen. Shout, my Christ is risen. As he said, come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. The last verse. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples' word. John 
22 verse 11 john 20 sorry john 20 verse 11 to 18 but mary stood outside by the tomb that's another message on his own weeping and as she wept she stood down and looked into the tomb and she saw two angels in white city in white sitting one at the head and the other at the feet where the body of jesus had laid then they said to her woman why are you weeping she said to them because they have taken away my lord and i do not know where they have laid him now when she had said this she turned around and saw jesus standing there and did not know that it was jesus jesus said to her woman why are you weeping whom are you thinking she's supposing him to be to be the guide the gardener said to him sir if you have carried him away tell me where you have laid him and i will take him away jesus said to her mary she turned and said to him la boni which is i haven't finished it which is to say teacher let's stop here this is another message entirely how many people that went to the tomb how many people that saw jesus it's another message entirely when we are talking of salvation how many people have come to the house of god how many people have assured of uh, his own salvation look one that message is another day look one six look one sixty eight to eighty look one sixty eight to eighty blessed is the lord can we read together please we are talking of salvation blessed is the lord god of israel for he has visited and redeemed his people and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant david as he spoke by the month of his holy prophets who have been seen the world began that he that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which he has sworn to our father abraham to grant us that we being delivered from the hand of our enemies might save him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life and you child will be called the prophet of the high, highest for you will go before the face of the lord to prepare his ways to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the remission of their sin through the tender mercy of our god with which thee they spring from on high has visited us to give light to those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace the last verse so the child grew and became strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his manifestation to israel praise the lord i'm talking of salvation and it has been granted for us that one man will die for us we use himself as a sacrifice for our salvation it is appointed for one man to pay the price that we enjoy today brethren without jesus there is no salvation for us but thank god for jesus who, who endured to the end who endured to the end if it's another person that faces what jesus christ faced, the moment they give you one latches you will surrender yes or no amen 
but he endure because of you, because of me. That is why I titled today's message, Salvation, Our Salvation is in Christ Jesus. Without him paid the price, there is no reconciliation. Ephesians 2, 16, which is our motto, we know it, 16 to 18. Ephesians 2, 16 to 18, without Jesus, there is no reconciliation. There is no how we can go to God, to our Father. And the Bible says, and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body, through the cross. Without Jesus died on the cross, without Joseph buried him in his own tomb, without him to rise in, in the third day, there is no how this can be fulfilled. There is no how we can be reconciled back to him through the cross, thereby putting to death the enemy needs. Yes? 17. And he came and preached the peace to you who were afar off and to those who were near. For through him we both have access. Through him we both have what? Access. Through Jesus, our salvation is sure. Our salvation is complete. Through him, we have access by one spirit to the Father. Through Jesus, we have access to our Father. But without him, we cannot penetrate into that place. Shout Jesus. Is that, is that how you can shout the name? Not only that, in Romans 5, verse 6 to 11, I'm looking at time, I cannot finish it. Maybe we can bring it on board next, next time. In Romans 5, verse 6 to 11, we are talking of salvation, brethren. For, we, for when we, we are still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. He died for the ungodly. He died for you and I. When we are committing fornication adultery, when we are drinking, when we are smoking, when we are lying, when we are envy, when we hate someone, he died for us. It is not when you become a born again Christian that Jesus has died for you. He died for us when we are multiplied in sin, when we are swimming in sin. He died for us when we did not know him. He died for us when we don't want to hear his name at all. The Bible says, give me that verse 6 back, 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 back. It says, for when we are still without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. How many of us that when, we, when our parents begot us to this world, it is by then you become born again Christian. How many can raise up his hand? Many of us, we are born through the family of idolatry. And before then, he has died for us. He has perfect every imperfection. He has paid the price. Brethren, I want you to hold fast your salvation. Jesus is the way. In him, our salvation is sure. In him, our salvation is perfect. Don't allow anyone to take it away from you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This Nigeria that I went to, we went to a mega, mega, what they call it, mega chicken, just to eat. Me and mommy and the brother that is driving us. Getting there, me and mommy were discussing, and they ordered the food. Say no one will take away my salvation. Then, my only strategy to go there to collect it, there was a beautiful lady at my left side. She saw us when we came in. She saw me. She saw my wife. She knew that I'm talking. I'm discussing with my wife. And she's a very young lady. Hold fast your salvation. Satan is at work. Then this lady began to look at me. You know when, people, when someone is looking at you and you'll be feeling it that someone is looking at you. I just turn. When my eyes and her eyes are contact, it just did like this. I take away my face away. I'm telling you the truth. I take my face away. 
Then, the food that they order for me, I don't like to eat cold food. I say they should microwave. Then I left that place to my wife again. He saw me, he saw my wife. So when I'm now want to go and pick my food, he brought out a, 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 a card that he have wrote a number. And he said, take, call me, I will take care of you. <laughs> Mommy, is it true? Then I took it from her and pocketed it. Then where we now go, want to go and pay for the food that we order, mommy was beside me. Then I covered mommy. I say, mommy, look at that lady because mommy doesn't know how to look. He will look at you that you know that someone is looking at you. So when I, I just covered mommy, I say, mommy, look at that lady. Mommy said, push one among them. I said, the tall one. I said, the tall one that wearing glasses. So when she left. We finished our food. I didn't tell mommy anything. Inside the car, I say, mommy, Nigeria is finished. We should be praying for Nigeria. I say, do the lady I asked you to look at. Then I brought out the, the card and the name, and it's a Yoruba girl. I say, look at the lady I asked you to look. See, he gave me this. He said, call me. I will say to you, I will take care of you. Amen. Mommy said, I should call her. I said, for what? He said, call her. Let, let's hear what he's going to say. And I tell mommy, if I call her, I share out of her sin. Amen. Say, my salvation. No one will take it away. Maybe Satan has seen it. That the door is open. And it will set a trap for you. The moment you enter into the trap, salvation is gone. At the age of 64, what am I going to do with woman? Are you listening to me? I have done it in the past. And that time, his grace was upon my life. And he rescued me. He brought me out from death. He washed me. So is it now that I received the salvation that I will lose it again? Check yourself. What did I say? Don't allow the devil to take away what someone has paid the price for you. For when we are still without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. When the enemy wants to destroy your life, he protects because he knew that one day he will gain you. But once you have known him, don't allow devilish trick to take you away from him. What you have received, what you have known, hold it fast. Yes, continue. Verse 7. For, for sincerely for a righteousness man will one die Yet, perhaps, for a good man, someone will even die to die. But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that when we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Then why do you want to nail him to the, into the cross a second time? Why do you want his, his death and restoration go in vain? Talk to yourself. And he continued in verse 9. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, which is the hymns that the choir have sung to us. Having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from, from Lord through him. From Lord through him for if we were, for if if for if when we are enemies we we are reconciled to god through the death of his sons much more having been reconciled we shall be saved by his life 
Jesus is alive. He has restored. Don't allow anyone to deceive you. Don't allow the devil to take you away from his presence. Don't serve the, the dead God. Don't serve who? Don't serve dead God. He's alive. And not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation who brought us back to our Father. Don't you know that many people want to see, want to enjoy what you are enjoying now? Free of charge. Many people want to enjoy what you are enjoying in Christ. How do I know? In John 4, verse 22. John 4, verse 22. John 4, verse 22. The Bible says, You worship what you did not know. We know what we worship. Finish it for me. For salvation belongs to the Jews. Who are the Jews? Hi. We have once lost. So now salvation belongs to me. So when salvation belongs to me, why am I going to throw it away? Salvation belongs to us through the dead and the restoration of Christ. That is why I titled today's message, Our Salvation is in Christ Jesus. Brethren without Christ is crisis. With Christ, you will have peace. The you, they are asking. The question that when Jesus Christ appeared to his disciples, what is the word that he speaks to them? But they can't answer it. The word is peace be unto you. But when you are in him, you will have peace. But after him, or outside him, is tribulation, is crisis, is frustration. In him, in him, you wait patiently for his promises. Yoruba, Yoruba parable used to say, Mumbo Jesu Koyalogmodu. What is it? In 20 years. So if you receive a word or a prophecy or a vision, don't think that it will happen tomorrow. Don't think that it will happen next tomorrow. Acting onto that promises. And I'm always telling people, don't look at your age. The doors of the new life in Christ that have opened now have been hearing the vision over 20 years. I've been seeing the vision over 20 years. God has been saying this and that over 20 years. And when now the promises come to pass, he did it in triple, not double. And when God promises come to pass, either you are old or young, he will strengthen you for it. So don't allow your salvation to be wasted. But the horn, the hour is coming, and now is when Christ has raised from the dead for us. When the true worshiper will worship the Father in the Spirit, that is in Christ Jesus. Because it's after his resurrection and ascended to heaven that the Holy Spirit descended. Yes or no? Then he said, and true for the Father is seeking such to worship him. From this moment, either you have heard this message before or you are just hearing it now, is risen. Worship him in spirit. Worship him in truth. Don't allow anyone Please go back, sir. Is it now you want to put it on? You don't know your job. Go back. Leave it. Don't allow anyone to shit you off your salvation. Praise God. I asked Sister Boom to bring my phone. Maybe I will show you next week, Sunday, by the grace of God. Some Prophets, teachers, I saw it, they sent it to me. A man is coming to preach in the church. 
and they put rope here and there. He was descending from the roof. And they said, Jesus has come. When he finished it, he was ascending back again. Don't follow them. Know the scripture very well. Know the scripture very well. And people are in that place. The Nigeria I went to, I saw a lot of things. Three-story building. I won't mention the churches. You will see it's church, Turkey, so, so, so. The second one is a church. The third one is church. The down one is church. And they put their picture and their white picture in the banner. So each time we are passing, I will say, Mommy, where is Jesus here? Are you listening to me? Where is Jesus? When you are putting your picture in the band, are you the miracle worker? So they don't, they don't, they don't proclaim Jesus anymore in the church in Nigeria. They advert themselves. I was telling mommy that the scripture, if they know it in the book of Act 4, Act 8, verse 48, those who went those who scattered went everywhere preached Christ Jesus. Philip went to the city of Samaria. Did he preach to preach? No. He preached Christ Jesus and miracle began to happen. And shops and church is the business in Nigeria now. And the more we open the church, the more we are seeing, the more we are doing evil. Shout salvation. salvation. And he says, No, go back to where I am, please. Thank you. God bless you. John 4:22. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. Then if you go to the same John 4 from verse the same John 4 from verse um, no, John yes, from yes, 22 also in the book of Luke 22 Luke 22 Luke, no, Luke 2 29 to 32 Luke 2 29 to 32 a prophet said, Simeon, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen what? So, what you, what you enjoy, many people want to enjoy it. What you are seeing, many people want to see it. This man said, Quench you are prepared before the face of all peoples. Yes. A light will bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people, Israel. And Joseph and his mother marvel at those things which we are spoken of him. Shout salvation. Brethren, don't allow anyone to take away your salvation. Many people want to enjoy what you enjoy. Many people want to see what you are seeing. In Luke 9, in Luke 9, in Luke now, if you, how can you receive this salvation? Very simple. And I will stop here because of time. Now how can we receive salvation or enjoy it? It's very simple. Luke 9, verse 8 and 10. You want to receive it, salvation? You want to enjoy salvation? This is what you must do. It says, and by, and Luke 9. Luke 9, verse 8 and 10. And by some that Elijah appear, appeared 
and by other that one of the old prophets have risen again. Herod said, John have been beheaded, but who is this, this of whom I hear such thing? So he sought to see him. He sought to see him. He sought to see him. He want to see Jesus. He want to know whom Jesus is. He want to see Jesus. Then he says, and the apostle, when they have returned, told him all that they have done. Then he took them and went aside privately into a deserted place belonged to the city called Bethsaida. Luke 19, verse 8, verse, verse 8 and 10 also. Luke 19, verse 8 and 10. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I have given half of my goods to the poor. And if I have taken anything from anyone by what? Talk to me by what? I do what? For food. Then, and Jesus said to him, today, today, talk to me, today, today. salvation. So, he had risen from the dead today, 2,000 years ago. We are doing the remembrance. Allow him to enter into your house. Where is your house? Your heart. Receive him. Very simple. If you want to enjoy salvation, if you want to see salvation, if you want to grab salvation, do what Zacchaeus did. And Jesus said to him, today salvation has come to this house because he is also a son of Abraham. Where Zacchaeus have got this? Brethren, Bible is complete. He got it from the book of Exodus 22, verse 4. That is where I got it. That's where I got it. Whatever you study, whatever you read, you put it into practice. Psychios put this into practice. He met Christ. Jesus called him to come down. But he has not yet received salvation until he confessed. Until he said, what I've took accusedly, I will return them in fourfold. Then Jesus said, salvation has come to you. Brethren, confess your sin. Run away from it. You will receive salvation. You will see salvation. You will enjoy salvation. It's reason. There is no doubt about that. It's reason. There is no doubt about that. And it's coming back again. He says in Exodus 22, 4, if the thief is certainly found alive in his hand, whether it is an ox or donkey or sheep, he shall restore. That is what Cyclops did. He took it from the Old Testament, he put it into practice in the New Testament, and he received salvation. Why can't you confess? Why can't you run away from sin? There was a time that the, my, my pastor, they want to do a crusade, and they put my picture and my picture onto the banner. They do about 10 or 14 banners. I said they should go and cancel it. I don't want my picture. I don't want my picture. Put the name of the church. It's okay. Amen. And the one that they have did, before I give them instruction, Along Akure, the moment we came out from the car, a man was far away. Isn't it, man? And the man was running towards us. He says, I was looking at this man. I was looking at the picture by the banner. I was looking at this. I said, no, this is the man. If it is the Boko Haram that will take you away, I'm telling you honestly. Mom, isn't it? He was far away. He said, I saw this man face and I was looking at the face, at the face in that banner. Immediately I said they should remove the banner. Why can't you allow Jesus to lift you up? Why putting your picture on your banner? Are you the one that's going to preach the gospel? And what if you preach the gospel and Jesus did not open the heart of his people? 
Don't you know that he's the one open hands to receive? Go and check in the book of Acts 16. And the Bible says, And God opened the heart of Lydia to listen to what Paul is saying. Nobody can boast that when I'm preaching, people listen. Unless God touched their hearts. Unless God opened their hearts to hear what you are saying. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Lastly, 2 Corinthians 6, 1 and 2. 2 Corinthians 6, verse 1 and 2. When then, as workers together, with him also plead with you, not to receive the grace of God in vain. Two. For he says, in an acceptable time, I have heard you, and in the day of salvation, in the day of salvation like this day, like today we come together to celebrate Jesus that has risen from dead, after risen from dead, after ascending to, 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 to our Father, he, received, he, he gave to us salvation that will make us to have facets with our Father in heaven. Don't lose this salvation. Don't lose this salvation. Don't allow the worldly thing to take away the salvation away from you. That is your passport to heaven. That is your green card to heaven. That is the thing that will lead you to the right way. Shout, my salvation will not be taken away from me. For he says, in an acceptable time I have heard you, and in the day of salvation I have helped you. Behold now is the acceptable time acceptable time he has risen because of you and me accept him as your lord and your partner savior behold now is the day of salvation is the day of what that is why philippians 2 verse 12 let's stand on our feet philippians 2 verse 12 says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Stand on your feet and let's read it together. Loud and clear, please. Therefore, my beloved, as I have also obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. He did not say I should work out my, the salvation of my wife. He did not say to me that I should work out the salvation of Dickness faith. Every one of us will work out his own salvation. Even though if the husband and wife die at the same day, the same time, they will not bury them together. If they bury them together, the six feet is not complete. Yes or no? And every one of us will have six feet. Either we like it or not. One of my friends, he said, if I'm passing through where they are selling coffin, I will close my eyes. I say, either you close your eyes or not. That is the last vehicle for you. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> he said, either they close your eyes with clothes or what? That is the last vehicle for you. It's better you go there, go and look for the best one and pay it down. Amen. Praise God. And I pray we will not die before our time. I decree we will not die before the mantle of our glory. Reason why we are here on earth, every purpose that we are here, and God still keep us, that purpose will come to manifestation. Sickness will not take hold of us. Disease will not take hold of us. I rebuke cancer. I disgrace cancer. Cancer will not be our portion. We will not be the candidate of cancer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone here today, by the reason of the anointing, by the reason of the restoration of Lord Jesus Christ, he has died young in order for us to live long. I pray you will complete your day. You will complete your year. You will complete your month. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not leave this world shameless. Ha! 
You will not leave this world shameless. You will not die shameless dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will not be disgraced. We will not be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, our salvation, no one will take it away from us. This will be the week of restoration. Every good thing that has become dead in our life, they will restore it. They will come to life. This will speak for us. This week will embrace us. This week grace will work for us. And it shall be well with us. In Jesus' wonderful mighty name, I have decreed. Shout, I receive my salvation. So shall it be. Be seated, God bless you. If you come late today, and you are not yet, drop your offering and your tithe. And please don't forget, the people that pledge, the people that want to pledge, don't pledge, and say they want to help the projects. Please, this is the crucial time. And if you are not yet a uh, pledge, and you want to do so for the renovation of the house of God to transform it, Place you can see me and take the card. And if you pledge in any form, either maybe the, pro, the prophets or the pastors that will bring in their hair, please try as much as possible. Do so so that we can complete this project. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. The Lord will meet our need at the part of need. The Lord will settle all our cases. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Choir. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflow. Joy overflows in my heart. Thank you once again for this wonderful service. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the life of your people, including me and my family. Lord, this is our offering and our tithes. We reverse the fire that came down this morning to touch the offering and the tithes, also to touch this tithe and offering. Lord, let there be showers of blessing upon all your people. The people, your people, that are redeemed by your blood in this house surprise us. Lord, mention our case this week and say to our case, let there be peace in our life and let this offering and the tithe be useful for the glory of your name. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Praise the Lord. Um, school of Disciples, we soon start. Baptismal class, we start second week in April. Second Sunday in April. Baptismal class, Sun, uh, School of Disciples.
place we have the form i think i have the form in my t on my table please see pastor mike please pastor mike can you shout hallelujah where you are please try to see pastor mike take your form from him fill the form for be a Baptist Michael. all the workers please people in choir usher the ocean department if you are no if you know that you are not yet be baptized please put your name down take the form by june july during summertime we normally go to ashbony uh, there's a river there that we used to take um, our people to for baptism so if you know that you have not yet been baptized and if you are baptized in the catholic maybe in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit it's okay but according to the gospel of the lord jesus christ he said by immersion so if you know that you are not done it by immersion, please see Pastor Mike today, take the form and fill it so that we can start baptismal class from second week in April. It shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Um, on the 21st of April, on the 21st of April, we are not going to preach and I want every members of this church to be present. What are we going to do? We are going to arrange the house. We are going to put table in each everywhere. It's going to be questions and answer for all the members. Please don't be shy. Don't say because of that you will not come to church. We want to build ourselves up. We want to build ourselves up in the way of the Lord. You can write your own question from your own house when you are coming. But what you are going to teach is just a teaching, not preaching. Just a teach. We will sit down in a group as we are coming. You sit down, turn, turn around the table. Then the teacher will, will teach us. As he's teaching, you can jot him down. So anywhere you want the questions, just throw it out. We will answer the questions. Nobody know it all. Nobody know it all. Praise the Lord. Nobody know it all. It shall be well with you in Jesus' name. If they call me out, when the youth is uh, they are throwing question, I may not know it. Say how? Because I didn't hear their language. Let's put our hands together. I may wrong it, isn't it? Because my own language is water. Their own is water. Isn't it, sir? So I may not understand it. It shall be well with us. So now in our own language, on the 21st of April, let's come together and learn from the feet of God. Let's stand on our feet and share the grace together in fellowship. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, or the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with me right now and forevermore. Surely his goodness and his mercy all the days of my life, I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So it shall be well with you. Say, my neighbor. Talk to him. Say, my neighbor. Don't allow the worldly thing to take away your salvation. Say, neighbor, are you hearing me so? Don't allow the dead and the restoration of our Lord Jesus Christ to go in vain. Now say, neighbor, look at me. At the end of my 120, I will not be with the drunkard. I will not be with the prostitute. I will be in the right hand, right hand of my father. Begin to prophesy into your neighbor's life now. Begin to prophesy, begin to decree upon your neighbor's life that my neighbor, as we are going this week, this week will speak for us. This week will favor us in the name of Jesus. Favor of God this week. Favor of God this week in the name of Jesus. We will reach our goal this week. We will make it in this week in the name of Jesus. Talk to your neighbor. Prophesy into his life or life. Tell your neighbor that we make it in life. 
no more struggling. You have risen from dead. The door is open. Your business will flourish. No more shame. In Jesus' name, we have prayed.